Now let's take an example where both the transformations, that is the transformation along x-axis as well as transformation along y-axis, both will be simultaneously used in a single problem. So if you see this problem, this is y is equal to 2 plus under root of 1 minus x minus 1 whole square. So we cannot do the, anything about x minus 1 whole square unless and until we open this. But that will complicate the question much further. So what we can do, we can start with the transformation by assuming that we have taken x minus 1 to be x. This is the first transformation that I have done. Then this question will then become something similar to this. Now I can say that I have taken 2 on the other side and this question now reduces to something of this and now if I say I have taken y minus 2 to be y. This is the logic why I was saying that if you start writing x minus 1 to x and this you will feel that you are actually simplifying your question. So now this question reduces to something of this sort. Okay, now what you will do? Obviously, whenever you see under roots, what do you do? The first thought that comes to your mind is squaring. Absolutely. So that means you will have to square. So if you square, so what will happen? Y square is equal to 1 minus x square. And if you notice now, what has happened is, yes. Yeah. So this is a very simple curve. If you see x square plus y square equal to 1, everybody knows this graph that this is a standard form of circle with center at 0 comma 0. So this is the answer? No, obviously no. Everybody can tell me that this is not the answer. Why? Because you have to apply transformations here. So the first transformation to, for transformations follow the reverse order. So you will not start from the first transformation. In fact, you will start from the last transformation. I repeat, you will have to start from the last transformation. Aap sabse niche wali transformation ko sabse pehle lagayenge aur uske upar wali dheere dheere karke lagana shuru karenge. So y minus 2, what happens with y minus 2? Remember, 2 units upward. So 2 units upward ka liye pehle kya karo? Iska pata laga lo ki iska minimum point kya hai? Minus 1. And the maximum value that this will attain is 1. Okay. So now this graph will something be like this. Circle bana lete hai pehle ek. Thik hai? Aur apki baar kya hoga? Kuch aisa ho jayega? Yaha par ye wala point minimum point kitna ho jayega? 1. Kaise kara ye? Just add 2 to this minimum value because you have shifted the graph 2 units up. So minus 1 added 2 will be 1 and this way point will become 3 though the radius and everything will remain same. Thik hai, to ye wala point abhi bhi kya hai? Ye yaha par. Ye kya ho jayega? 1 comma 2. Ye kya ho jayega? Minus 1 comma 2. Jo pehle kya tha? 1 comma 0 tha. No change in this. Okay? Ye sirf kya hoga? Upper shift hoga. Vertical shifting. Now the next thing that you have to do, ye aapne pehli transformation. To ugly transformation kya kya thi? The next transformation is x minus 1. x minus means shifting this graph to the right side. Right side, agar aap is graph ko shift karoge, to dekho kya hoga? To aap ab ki baar kya karoge? Yehi jo aapki axis ban rahi thi. Ab ki baar, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, the earlier graph was wrong because why? Uh, if you shift it towards uh, right hand side, the minus 1 point will become 0. So this will be 0 comma 2 because this point will get shifted towards right. Okay, got it. So this is your final answer for this particular region. So ye kya point ban jayega? If you can tell me, this will be 1 comma 1. This point will be nothing but what? 2 comma 2. And similarly, this point will be what? 1 comma 3. So this is how the graphs have to be drawn. So the final answer for this is nothing but again a circle but it is something like this touching here. This is how you have to plot the graphs. Okay, one important thing which I suppose should have been taught in this and we completely missed it. So when you square, when you people square, the error that we generally commit is for example, you have done this. So let me take for example a different scenario. I am just rubbing this off. So please do not get confused with the, the particular question that we have at hand. I am just trying to make you sure that you understand what is the wrong part in this. Okay. So now assumingly, uh, okay, this was your final answer. So now assume that the final answer that you have got was something, let's say, like this. The final answer after applying all the transformation. Okay, this is a sample question. This is a sample question. It is not exactly the same question which you have taken here. And there was a squaring involved after this step. Then this answer would have been wrong. Can you tell me why this answer would have been wrong? Let's say if somebody asks you to just plot this diagram. Let's say this is the perfect thing to do. Alright. 
so even we can do this also let's plot just this diagram y is equal to under root 1 minus x square so if you were asked to plot this diagram what will be the answer so everybody says the answer will be a circle the people who are saying answer will be a circle will fetch minus 1 in the exam why because now let's see so when you square the squaring does not have any issues the squaring is allowed absolutely allowed so but when you do the squaring you have to keep in mind that y is greater than or equal to 0 now this is important Q right hand side kya hai? right hand side is always under under root under root always returns positive value so y can only take positive value so when you come from this step to this step by squaring you have actually changed the domain and the range so here if you notice the domain and range will get changed by doing this so these are not the identical functions which we are going to talk about in functions topic ye dono identical functions nahi rahe hain identical functions hone ke liye range aur domain dono barabar hone chahiye theek hai to ye nahi hai to uska final answer kya hoga aap jo bhi final answer draw karoge wo kis condition pe hona chahiye y should be greater than or equal to 0 to sirf iska answer kya hota सेमीसर्कल सेमीसर्कुलर आर कोड है बिन दी आंसर ये नीचे वाला पोर्शन इसका आंसर नहीं होगा कॉर्ड इट